Well, you never know what to expect with a school exhibit that can inspire a young man, and such is the case for Keith Thurman. It was a boxing demonstration that sent him to get a YMCA brochure, and the rest is history. He's now 9-0, an emerging pro, and he faces Travis Hartman. There's Travis Hartman. He's 26-year-old from Missouri, had a long amateur career, and now a pro career that has him at 10, 13, and 1. He's also a professional in another sports field, works as a sports writer for the local paper in St. Joseph, Missouri. Keith Thurman is from Clearwater, Florida, just 20 years old, 9-0. He had eight straight first-round knockouts to start his career. He has high hopes, and he told us what to expect tonight. I can not see fear right from the start. I can see fear from the stare down. And within the first uh, 10 to 30 seconds of the fight, and if I see fear before the fight even happens, there's no point in you being in a match with me because I'm just going to come right at you. Hartman and Thurman are scheduled for six rounds. Teddy has the just for men hair color. Stay in the fight analysis. For Thurman, your opponent just took this fight, and he is smaller. He has been knocked out eight times. Why are we wasting time talking about this? Just go knock him out and do it quickly. And for Hartman, for you it is not to stay in the fight plan, but you can say it's the fight plan to survive. The best way to do that is run a little bit, and grab a little bit. I don't know I've ever seen a uh, just for men hair color stay in the fight analysis that says your opponent is here to be knocked out. Trying to deliver the truth, Joe. They're going to deliver the punches. We are going to deliver the truth, and we will find yeah, out where that lies. Bobby Ferrara is your referee. They are scheduled for six. Touch a Hartman is here to make idea. Thurman not only 10 and 0, but 10 and 0 with 10 count. 10 knockouts. Not too many good fighters come from Missouri where Hartman is from. Keith Thurman, a much talked about Florida based junior middleweight prospect. His trainer, longtime trainer Ben Getty, passed away a couple months ago. He was with Ben from age seven. Onward, and now he's with Dan Birmingham, who, of course, has had a lot of success in recent years. Recent trainer of the year, and a right hand comes in, as does a right uppercut from Thurman, and he's getting to the business at hand right away. Not too many good fighters come from Missouri, where Hartman is from. Hartman has been knocked out eight times. He took this fight on five days' notice. He's lost five of his last six, three by knockout. And in the fights that Hartman was not knocked out, Joe, guess what? He was on the floor. Don't hold, don't hold. Well, at least he's consistent. Hey, you want to know why? I'm going to speak very honestly. Thurman don't hold. is 9 0 right now with nine knockouts. You know, and he's about to become 10 0, I think, with 10 knockouts. It's not about his jab or his left hook. I mean, they're okay. And it's not about his right hand. That's okay, too. But to a large extent, it's because he's fought opponents like this who have been knocked out eight times. And I just don't know what he's going to learn from fighting these kind of opponents, quite honestly. Piercing right hands, landing time and time again here in the opening minute, 20 seconds of this fight from Keith Thurman. Hartman's doing what he can to survive, moving his head a little bit, turn southpaw, on, grabbing, go, falling in. Back up. Thurman had 110 amateur fights. I mean, after 110 amateur fights, I just don't think you have to fight this level of opposition over and over and over again. And Travis Hartman goes to a knee here. Six, seven, eight. Here your gloves. He was knocked out just this past June, as you said, KO'd eight times among his 13 losses. You know, Joe, Thurman's record is really not being earned right now in his career. Let go. As Let's much go. as it's up. being created. And it's going to be created to be 10 and 0 with 10 knockouts, it appears tonight. Well, the talk of many who are covering this fight, especially among our crew, was will Travis Hartman even get out of the first round against Keith Thurman? He's got 30 seconds to prove doubters wrong here, but you get the sense it's just a matter of time and could come at any moment. 
There's a right hand as he ducked in. Stop, uppercut stop, 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 stop. Well, by Thurman. Back of the is, what is First Thurman? Warning. Okay. Get out of this. What does he learn here? Does he become a better fighter? And I think the answer is no, you don't become a better fighter. Again, the record becomes a little bit better. And there you can see Thurman falling forward and receiving a jab. Well, I should say Hartman falling Six, forward and receiving seven, a jab from eight. Thurman. You all right? One more knockdown, so, it's over. And two knockdowns scored four. here Five. in the first. Congratulations, you've won our super... Round two here on Friday Night Fights from Tucson, where Keith Thurman is in real soft tonight against Travis Hartman. Thurman, the 20-year-old prospect from Florida, who's 9-0 with nine knockouts. In the first round, he scored two knockdowns. He had a 38-5 connect advantage against Hartman. You know, as though Hartman doesn't have enough problems being overmatched here, he's much smaller than Thurman. Junior welterweight most of the career for Hartman. He's been as low as 134, while Thurman has fought from 150 to 152 pounds. And if Thurman goes to the body now, this fight will end. This fight's going to end any second unless Hartman throws anything back, and the towel is thrown in by the corner of Travis Hartman. You know, before this fight, we had a soundbite of Thurman, and I just feel responsible to say this. You know, he was talking with a little bravado, saying, I smell fear, you know, I can taste the fear, I go after him. But it's easy to say those things when you're fighting these kind of opponents. There's nothing to fear. No, there's nothing to fear at all. And it's time to step up. I mean, it's, it's really becoming a bit of a travesty now. He's 10-0 with 10 knockouts. He's some, he has some ability, but we do not know if he's developing as a fighter. I mean, we know he can throw punches at a guy who does an imitation of a heavy bag and taking nothing away from Hartman. He's doing the best he can in there, and we saw what that best was. But again, to develop as a fighter, you have to take a deep breath, physically, psychologically, in a fight once in a while. And Thurman is not being made to take a deep breath where we can find out what is there and where he can find out. The worst thing to happen here, Joe, is one day Thurman will get in the ring and he will have to find out what is there. Let's take a look at the replays here. You can see nothing complicated. Thurman's just letting his hands go. He's keeping good distance. He's not falling in. He's making sure he's getting full extension on his punches. A lot of them were not landing. They were being blocked there, but only one man was throwing, and there was only going to be one winner, and the referee understood that. You saw the towel come in, and the corner. Well, I half say they did the appropriate thing. They did the wrong thing by matching Hartman with Thurman, but they did the right thing by calling an end to it. Yeah, nine times now. Hartman's been knocked out in his career and a perfect 10-0 with 10 knockouts for Keith Thurman. He talked to us about that feeling of knocking out an opponent. It's almost like a feeling of, uh, of relief. It's, uh, it's, the way, it's the way you want it to end. Uh, at least it's the way I taught to end. And because of that, it is a relief for me. Um, it's satisfaction as well that uh, all my hard work and training has paid off and my end result results in a knockout. Keith Thurman, 10-0, 10 knockouts. Maybe we'll see him down the road against superior competition. We've got another unbeaten prospect still to come, but for now, here's Brian Kenny. The Tecate Friday Night Fight Studio is brought to you by Tecate. The Mexican Cerveza con Caracter. All right, we start off with some boxing news this week here on.